All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, we have an insane gold, probably someone who should be a little bit higher of a rank. It's going to be my editor, okay? He's silver right now, but he's gold all time. And we're going to be putting him into this emerald lobby and seeing what he's going to do. So make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, comment down below. And let's get straight into round number one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go with round number one. My editor here going to be setting up inside of Trophy. The blue team opting to go for the upstairs bomb site first. Pretty typical here. Got a decent lineup coming out from the blue team. They've got the cap can, so hopefully that's able to get some players down in HP so that our gold player will have a better chance at picking them off. But right now, we're going to have a down instantly. Jay was whatever the hell that was, whatever his name is, is dead. Jay is down. He's going to get res though, immediately by Sledge. It looks like he fell off of the big tower railing and ended up downing himself. So one player already going to be 20 HP and Troll Patrol going to start the game off with a kill onto Rick C. So no more Iana. He's going to throw an impact and run straight into the Buck player who takes him out inside of Kitchen. And now it's a 4v4. Our gold player trying to swing inside of Attic, trying to maybe get a kill, but there's going to be a player on the kid's window. It's Buck narrowly missing the headshot there. Warden's going to run all the way out of Small Tower, missing those shots now, and Atlas going to grab a kill as the orange team is swiftly trying to take Attic here. Our gold player inside of Trophy, trying to peek the head holes at the moment. Ella going to get taken out, though, as Atlas pushes up. Warden's going to come back down to site to help, and, well, the Emeralds are pushing in to attic now the site is about to be taken but our editor or my editor here going to be trying to slow the push down lighting up jay to exactly one hp now minute and 15 seconds left orange team does have plenty of time left elamines are going to slow them down though as flixie tries to push up through the white stairs some rotates are going to come out from doc and the floor bang's barely missing as Flixie's going to be droning the white stairs out. Sledge rotating into Trophy. And now Jay already pushed up into the default plant spot. He does have the bomb. He could try to plant. Jay's going to get one kill. My editor with a second. The flash bang's come out. It's all up to Flixie. He runs in. The Capcom Trap goes off. My editor going for the kill, but he's going to miss. And Buck wins the first round. Emeralds taking it. Unfortunate. Taking a look at the scoreboard here, pretty even score, at least coming from the blue team. Everybody but Juice getting a kill. And we're going to see what happens in round number two. All right, here we go with round number two. A lot of our emeralds on the orange team are trying to push the big tower, but a run out from Troll Patrol. Not going to grab any kills yet, but he looks like he's going to be trying to contest the big tower. Going to be a good decision as a lot of the orange team is over there right now. We do have days all the way in small tower trying to get an angle on any of these attackers pushing the big tower. And he might actually find a kill onto the Finca here in a second. Three of our orange team players repelled on the big tower. And the first kill is going to come out from Juice who gets instantly refragged by the Habana. Even 4v4 now. And the Emeralds have a big tower. But Daze is going to find that kill from the small tower taking Jay out. And now it's a 4v3. All of our orange team inside of the big tower ensuring that the rest of this is clear. Taking a look at our gold player. He's going to be back on site. Trying to hold down trophy again. No head holes in the... The attic walls is gonna offer a punch hole instead and now we're gonna have flixie in a gunfight downstairs with troll patrol who's gonna take him out 4v2 now the blue team definitely picking up from the last round our last two attackers inside a big tower they've got plenty of time they've also got the habana they can easily open up the attic wall but here comes troll patrol with the pmm through the bottom of the stairs but rixie will take him out with the finca Bringing things closer to an even game here. But it is still going to be a 3v2 as Days is above an attic. Trying to make some holes through the stage wall to potentially see these players on the back stairs. Habana going to rotate up and open up the wall now. Smart choice as Days is going to be playing directly on this wall still. Habana charge is going to force him to fall back. And the gold player now pushing up in the attic trying to grab some of these frags. One minute left on the clock. Our Emerald player is going to have to make a decision here soon, but Daze is going to take out the first one. It's all up to the Habana in this 1v3. 55 seconds left. Warden's going to push up for the C4. That's going to miss, though. Habana now on the window in the gunfight with our gold player on the kid's window. 
Mozzie gonna push up in the attic. Playing on this blue tarps, though, I highly doubt the Habana knows that there's someone there, but oh no, the gold player gets taken out. And now the Habana lighting up the Mozzie as well as both of our Emerald players have pushed up into attic. And oh my God, another beautiful kill coming out from Habana who's on one HP. It's all up against McDemon who's on one HP as well, but he'll able to clutch it out. And the blue team going to tie things up one to one now. Very close round. All right, round number three is underway, and the orange team is going to be trying to do a full bunker take right now. Yana going to be cloning it out, trying to see what she can see. It's going to quickly get shot out now as Flixie on the Habana is going to be droning out up top, trying to take above to get these hatches. The gold player all the way in tarps, playing behind an alibi right now, trying to get a kill onto one of these players inside a bunker. Os is going to push up. That's going to be Atlas with the shield. And he's going to be trying to take this gunfight with the gold player. Two minutes left on the clock. And it looks like Flix is going to be in a gunfight upstairs with Troll Patrol. But he's going to get taken out from behind as Jay comes in from meeting split and finishes him off. So the orange team leading now with the man count. Flix going to grab a kill as well. Juice goes down. No more Ella for the blue team. Legion's going to take a lot of damage and actually is going to be finished off by Jay who pushes in through Freezer. Ace going to sprint in now. Our gold player taking a lot of damage from the player in Attic, or excuse me, in Freezer. C4 comes out. Day's going to push up and try to finish off this Iana, but it's going to be a tough gunfight. The gold player gets taken off as the Emeralds are pushing deep in through Pillar. Ooh, a team kill coming out as Days grabs a kill. He's going to be trying to clutch this round out, but Rick C on the ying will take him out in the first split not looking good for our gold player round number four is underway and the teams have swapped sides so we're gonna see if our gold player ends up playing a little bit better on attack starting off with the flashbang to himself and spawn certainly not looking good but it is for days who grabs the kill onto atlas capkin goes down and now blue team up in the man count they're gonna be trying to do a master take right now the gold player rotating around, trying to push big window, but we're actually going to be having Valk in small tower doing some form of a run out, but he's not going to find any players. He's only going to find a little bit of HP being lost. Now, the gold on big window is Ram trying to get some shots off into the site, seeing if there's any players to kill, and there is. It's the Valk. She goes down, and this is what we like to see. Things are picking up now as Daze grabs another kill to Rick C. Mozzie goes down. He's going for another. He lights up the mute who's now extremely lit up from the player on top of white stairs troll patrol with the sledge nading out pushing into sight now the captain trap will take him out though flixie gets a kill to troll patrol our gold still on big window flashing in jumping in the window he's gonna be trying to find the fenrir the last remaining player in the back of kids but iana's pushing up day is surely gonna find this kill and the blue team wins another round attack looking good here All right, round number five is underway here, and it seems we've already got a kill from Atlas with a C4 into Bunker. That's going to take out the Lion for the blue team, which is going to be unfortunate. It looks like they have some form of a Monty Strat cooking here, but he's going to be solo pushing with the Diffuser. Very strange decision. The Blitz is going to rush in to Elbow, though, but unfortunately for him, it's going to be barricaded off. Atlas close with the shotgun, trying to defend against this Blitz, who's pushing already onto the head holes of ebox troll patrol solo monty pushing down white adsing around and he's gonna find i believe that's rick inside of freezer right now but as soon as we switch off of him Cade's gonna find the kill onto mcdemon the blitz goes down and now our gold player and troll patrol and the monty have linked up to the final two remaining players for the blue team as days just got taken out shocks editor with the instant refrag though our gold is cooking up the Monty trying to defend against any of these pushes. Another down here for our gold player. He's going to try to nade and finish that player off. But there's an ADS. Two ADSs. And that player is going to be stuck down in the corner. Now, fortunately for the blue team, they don't have a dock to pick him up. But Flix is going to be rotating up, trying to take out this Monty who's ADSing. The swing comes out. Shots are going to hit a little bit. Jaeger falls back. Two players are downed. Our gold player is going huge. He's going to be peaking the rotate now. Troll Patrol finishes one of them off. And oh, Troll Patrol finishes the final one. The gold player picking up two big kills at the end. Able to clutch it up with the Monty. 
and they're going to be on match point now, three to two. Taking a look at the scoreboard, Days is currently top fragging, but our gold player is at a close second. All right, round number five is starting here, and Atlas is going to start it off by running out, trying to grab this kill onto one of the player's elbow. The C4 goes out, but it's going to completely miss. But what is this? We've got McDemon and Troll Patrol pushing the front with the gold player. Two shields going down main stairs. It looks like the blue team is putting all their chips into the gold player, trying to get him these frags with the shields. Troll Patrol is going to push to the bottom of the main stairs, and he's going to be taking a lot of damage from these various different... Uh, projectiles being thrown at him right now. Legion swinging the head holes right now, trying to see if he can't find the kill onto the gold player. A miss nade, though, that could have actually gotten a kill. There was someone in there, but now Sledge going to have to fall back a little bit. Mute's pushing up into the freezer, trying to grab this angle onto the door. And fortunately, our gold was able to get out of there before any damage was done. But here we go. Warden roaming above. He's going to be getting pushed out by our gold. Rixie going to go down, though. Daze grabs a kill, and the Cade is no longer with us. Juice inside a bunker right now. Really in hell of a cell right now. Troll Patrol going to grab a kill onto that Warden who was roaming. Or excuse me, Legion. C4 kill coming out from the Mew who gets instantly refragged now. A fight on Tarp's door. Who's going to win it? It's going to be Daze. Where's our editor? He's pushing into the front. Freezer. Last player remaining on the rotate, and Daze will be the one to finish him off. GG. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to map number two. We're going to be starting on Clubhouse here. Make sure you guys have liked the video, subscribed if you guys have made it this far into the video. But here we are, a gunfight right off the rip between the gold and Atlas. Atlas trying to grab this spawn peak from Garage right now. And it's not working for him whatsoever. The gold going to go ahead and rotate off and push towards the breach. Hopefully so they can go ahead and get this open. Ace is trying to get the garage right now. And ooh, he does a lot of damage on to Cade, but he's going to get downed. Looks like he's going to be able to safely run away, though. Cade is jumping down for the kill. A C4 comes out, but it misses. And I, I know this guy is so mad. He wants this kill so badly, but it's not working for him whatsoever. A team kill, though, coming out from juice days goes down and the c4 from atlas things are spicing up here the blue team is falling apart troll patrol finally picked up and they need to try to get this wall here the gold does have impact emps ace she's gets to the wall but he's not going to because Cade finally finishes him off and now it's going to be a 2v5 between ssg and the gold. A minute and 35 seconds left. They've got plenty of time. But are they going to be able to find the kills? They won't. But Cade will. The gold player goes down. And now it's all up to the Dokubi who's on the roof. A minute and 20 seconds. What is he going to do? He's got multiple different access points open into the building. But he's going to opt to go into strip it looks like. Rotating all the way around the map. There is a player down here that's going to be Cade, and he hears this barricade get broken, but here comes the Dokubi call, and now she knows that someone is nearby. Cade holding his ground, making sure he doesn't push in through bathroom, but here he goes, in through bar. It looks like Cade might not even know, but the swing from behind. Jay is all the way downstairs on the front door, able to distract him, and Cade comes up from behind and takes him out. Round number one goes to the orange players. All right, here we go with round number two of Clubhouse. Looks like a lot of our blue team players are going to be trying to push outside of stock right now. Maybe doing a default kitchen dirt take. They've got the Maverick, but it is going to be a little bit difficult to get that hatch open with just the map. No hard breach gadgets on any of the other players as well. So they're going to have to fight for this hatch. And it looks like someone is holding above as well. They've even got the pulse below right now. And we're, we're going to see Jay upstairs in Lodgy. He's going to get droned out, though, as our gold player is going to be holding blanks on chains. Troll Patrol opening up dirt as Days is pushing down main stairs with his pistol right now. The Doc's going to swing, and oh, no, this guy's going pistol only and taking out the Doc player. Not a good start for the orange team whatsoever. Jay is still above. Getting shot at from multiple different angles now is 
People are desperately trying to push him out. Flixie going to grab a kill as well as Jay. So two big kills coming out from the Orange team. A third is Atlas grabs another on the Jews. So it's all up to our gold and troll patrol who's inside of dirt right now trying to grab this kill into the thorn he'll light him up but it's not enough to kill him the pistol swings are coming out and now atlas gonna push into dirt trying to grab these kills but he's gonna get taken out troll patrol actually grabbed two kills there somehow wall bangs are coming out from the gold he's trying to grab this kill onto warden who's inside of blue flixie underneath the arsenal hatch right now trying to watch this dirt door a minute and five seconds left for the blue team they've got time but they need to use it wisely flixie using his pulse gadget to just see where these players are rotating to and he's going to see they're pushing into kitchen 50 seconds here troll patrol going back into kitchen now down main stairs not enough time to get the hatch the c4 is going to come out and miss from flixie rixie still has his but he's nowhere near to use it our gold going to rotate down the main stairs, trying to push up onto this church wall to help troll patrol. They could try to map this and get in. 30 seconds left. They need to make a move quick and troll patrol is going to do it. He's inside of sight. Our goal needs to get in with the bomb. Very limited amount of time left. They need to get this plant going. Great Osa shield though. It looks like the orange team is reinforced off blue. So it's really biting them in the ass right now. The swing comes out. Pulse going to take a lot of damage. Warden goes down. It's all left to Flixie, who's jumping the rotate, pushing in. He'll take out Troll Patrol. And now our gold player has to clutch this. Flixie going to rotate into Moto, pushing our editor. Holding still. Watching for the push, but the defuse is going to come out in the doorway. He's going to be sticking it as well. Will our editor be able to clutch it? He will. The gold player is able to take him out. Winning round number two. All right, we're starting with round number three, and all of the blue team's going to be pushing out from the west side of the map, potentially trying to do a roam clear as we do have the orange team below, holding below, but they don't have the site set up very well. No rotates, no reinforcements down. Not really sure what the plan is, but either way, Troll Patrol is going to be using this time to open up dirt. As we see the rest of blue team try to make it out of spawn and figure out where they want to push. But Daze almost gets C forward as he's aggressively pushing in through toilets right now. Our gold on the roof trying to open up the Lodgy hatch to ensure that no one's playing above the hatch. Flixie C4 in hand waiting for somebody to push into kitchen so he could try to get this C4 kill. Warden's going to throw out a C4 of his own, but that's going to miss. So many people are trying to C4 days, but oh no, Flixie missing his C4 as well. All the C4's gone now for the orange team, but Pulse is going to grab a kill onto days. The Zofia player goes down. The gold trying to refrag from the main stairs, but won't be able to get the angle. Minute and 40 seconds left now. About half the round is gone. Troll Patrol able to grab a frag though. Oh, almost another hole's going to be lit up, but Rick C is able to refrag now. And now Iana in a gunfight with the Warden on the main stairs. Warden's going to rotate all the way back to site now. Very smart of him to do so. Pulse, Hell in a Cell underneath the Arsenal hatch. Desperately trying to figure out where these blue team players are coming from. And he's going to see that they're inside of dirt right now. Troll Patrol tr desperately trying to push in, but oh wow, another kill for Pulse too for him as well, actually. Our gold is going to be the last remaining player. He downs one. Pulse, maybe he's going to try to go for that res, but goes for the kill instead, and he grabs it. The Pulse player for the orange team, playing absolutely incredibly, carrying his entire team at the moment. Ooh, Days with a pistol one tap to start the round off. Habana goes down, and that's going to be a very important pick for the blue team. Is now they're going to be struggling to get the hatches, especially with no hard breach gadgets on Buck. Blitz is going to be coming out here from Rixie. He's going to be swiftly taking stock, trying to clear the map right now. Our gold player inside of sight, still trying to set up as clearly they have a little bit more setup to do. Days inside of kitchen trying to kill the ram pushing in through the kitchen window. He's going to narrowly escape those flashbangs. He's going to push towards this door on the side. And I don't know if anybody knows he's actually here, but 
Blitz is going to find him. And, well, now he's in a really bad spot. He's going to get taken out by Rick, the Blitz player, actually grabbing that kill. Atlas continuing to try to open up the floor inside of Kitchen. He's going to send out those Ram gadgets. Blixie going to grab another kill onto the blue team as he pushes down main stairs. All right. The gold player pushing into Moto. He's going to have to defend against this Blitz who's pushed all the way up onto the triple wall, but he's not paying attention. So it's an easy kill. Blixie goes down as well. So no more Buck. Atlas and Dokubi pushing down the main stairs right now. Those beepers going off, alerting the blue team to their presence. Gold player taking out that hacked camera as he's going to jump into this hiding spot. Dokubi calls come out, though. That's going to expose his position. SSG is trying to help at the most he can. Troll patrol all the way back, trying to get an angle as well. Oh, and there's the kill from SSG. And Troll Patrol able to take out the last one. Blue team winning another round. All right, here we go with round number five. Doku be going to be all the way back on these stairs, and he's going to grab that one tap onto Troll Patrol. The top frag for the blue team goes down, and that's going to leave room for our gold to step up and take his place. Finishing up some site setup as... Wow, Daze is going to grab a kill onto the Dokubi, instantly refragging there. Jay able to open up the main wall as Atlas is going to set up some Osa shields and grab the kill into SSG. No more Rafters players for the orange or the blue team now. Flixie's going to grab a kill onto the gold player when we weren't even paying attention. And now Daze is in sight trying to defend against this plant as Jay is planting on the breach, taking a lot of damage from this Cade Claw, but he's going to stick it. About half of his HP gone from that Cade Claw, but it's not looking good here for the blue team whatsoever. Juice is on the top of main stairs and he's going to get swiftly taken out by Atlas. And now Flixie going to grab the last kill on today's. The orange team wins round number five and they're going to hold match point. All right, here we go with round number six. Dokubi is going to be trying to make a quick entrance onto Garage. Droning out our gold player who's going to be in rafters. Troll Patrol is downstairs trying to spawn peek this pool window. As Daze is in Swamp, trying to help our gold defend against the Garage Push. Whiffing a lot of shots from this drone. They're going to spot him out. That's still going to be the Dokubi. Atlas rotating onto the window. And a C4 comes out. Oh, but he's able to shoot it. Atlas placing an Osa shield on the CCTV window. Trying to maybe take out the Bandit, who is playing on the wall. Our gold's going to light up the Dokubi quite a bit. Forcing him to back up now. Buck is below, or excuse me, inside of Khan as well as Nomad. And they're just going to walk in. Flixie is inside of sight. He grabs the first kill on the juice. And now Bandit's going to have to defend against this. He's inside of the rotate, but he's going to get taken out as well. Flixie grabs another kill. Daze rotates below to possibly try to C4. And the gold player gets taken out as Flixie is in sight. Just completely dominating. But there's the C4. Daze with two kills. Clutching up for the blue team. The planner goes down, but Jay's going to quickly pick it up. He gets instantly taken out, though. Troll patrol inside of sight. Osa's going to refrag. That's Atlas. 1v2 now as Atlas grabs the final kill, and the orange team's going to win. What a great round at the end there. All right, here we go with map number three. Remember, if you guys are made it this far in the video, consider subscribing, consider liking the video. Here, our gold player is trying to get a spawn peek off, and oh no, Jay taking him out 20 seconds into the first round. That is so unfortunate. Troll Patrol's at least going to refrag, though, taking out Atlas, and that window was clearly prepped. Troll Patrol going to throw out the smoke, holding this angle into the site now as Warden's going to swing for some reason. It's a glass, you maniac. He's going to try to do the Warden fight, and he wins it! But they're going to trade. What is happening? 3v3 now. The well, my discs that are outside are going to stop the EMP. And oh no, the second one misses. Days won't be able to open up this wall. Flixie close with the shotgun. Juice actually is pushing 
in towards archives though but there comes the swing from flixie with the shotgun he's going to be put onto near half hp but he at least grabs the kill lion is inside of sight i don't know why he's not lion scanning but he is all the way in rixie on the cade all the way back by half wall i don't think he realizes this just yet but juice is in they do not have the diffuser though so they will not be able to plant lion scan finally comes out solace holding the office door is ssg is going to push in and he grabs the kill solace goes down and now it's an even 2v2 juice is trying to make that a 2v1 as he swings onto rick c flixie's going to come up and try to assist him minute and 15 no diffuser still for the blue team the orange team is holding it Dokubi call comes out no more lion scans and here come the swings ssg peeking this hole in the wall trying to find one of the players but he's not going to be able to find either both players holding in the back of sight ssg pushing up now juice is running over to try to grab the bomb 50 seconds left he could grab it and then run back to sight Lixie swinging though. He's going to get taken out. Juice wins that gunfight. Rixie in half wall getting pressured by multiple players. He's going to take a lot of damage, but both of the players swing at the same time. SSG wins that, and the blue team finally able to win a round. All right, round number two is underway, and the gold player is going to survive the spawn peak, but not survive the C8 recoil. Valk's going to be swinging. Who's going to win the fight? It's going to be the gold player finally winning that. Zara's going to go down. No more Valk for the orange team. Rick C inside of office. Trying to ensure that nobody pushes in through there. But we're going to have another gunfight here through the break room door as Atlas is pushed up inside of break. Trying to hold this head glitch right now. And our gold trying to kill him. Whiffing all the shots right now. Atlas with this 1.5 doing the best that he can to stop this push coming into CC. But he's going to fall back to site. Good decision. Jay's going to be there to break the door for him. Two minutes left. The blue team already have a kill. This is very good. Our gold player is going to be pushing in through East Stairs now. Looking for anybody playing inside of office. And he is going to find Rixie who's in there. Patrol, patrol. Off screen will find a kill on the J. So the warden goes down. And Rixie is going to be trying to defend against our gold player who's pushed in towards office. He's going to get taken out. Unfortunate. He just didn't seem to know that he was there. And now Ju's going to grab a kill on the Atlas. Bringing things to a 4v2. Rixie is going to rotate back towards Fountain. As Flixie is in archives trying to stop this push. But oh no, from behind, Troll Patrol is able to down Rick C. It's all up to Flixie, who's going to miss his shots. The shotgun comes out. He won't miss that. But Juice will be hitting his shots as well and takes him out. Round number two to the blue team. All right, SSG is going to take over half his HP from a spawn peak that we missed. But the gold player now pushing on the east stairs, trying to take archives at the moment as Troll Patrol is fusing this window. But Capkin walks up and takes him out, not before losing most of his HP. The gold now reloading and trying to push into archives. He wants to get this Capkin, but he's going to be hiding in office right now. And the C4 may be coming out. Capkin's going to be essentially stuck, but the gold's going to get taken out by Jay, who is ratting in armory. Jay is pushing up, trying to clutch up this round as the orange team is now looking very dominant. Dokubi calls come out, lion scans as well, but all of the blue team are very scattered. There's no team push happening here. Flixie behind the desk, stuck. He's going to see for the wall, but that's going to miss. Jay grabs another kill in SSG. Juice is going to push in, and there's another kill for Jay. Daze is going to take out Flixie. He's going for the second kill onto the uh, uh, the Aruni there, but he's not going to land any shots just yet. Daze on about 20 HP. Doc coming up the east stairs. I don't think he realizes it. He doesn't. Zara will take him out. And the first round of border for the orange team. Looks like our gold player is going to be trying to spawn peek here in the start of round number four, but nobody's even going to be over there. All of our orange team players are going to be outside of the east side. Day's pushing up, trying to grab a kill onto Atlas, who's 
outside of this window potential c4 is going to come out here is it looks like we're having a big rush onto archives the gold player already on about 20 hp not a good start but ssg at least grabbing a kill for his team and oh the gold picking up a big double c4 kill that's huge but jay is getting the plant down monty inside of sight able to get the plant off zara on these east stairs going to be stopping any players from defusing the editor getting docked up now and pushing onto this jump spot trying to get an angle onto the ace the defuse is going off and there we go the gold player takes jay out and finally juice is able to grab another kill the editor team killing he wants this defuse w rounds All right, round number five is underway and our gold player is upstairs doing a castle strap, but Daze is gonna start the round off with a kill, going for a second as he's gonna be fighting Iana, or excuse me, Ram outside of the east stairs. Flixie rotating up to the AC window, trying to drone out and see where these players are. He's gonna see the gold player who's reinforcing this wall fortunately he gets it off in time atlas has got a sneaky drone inside a workshop and it looks like our orange team players are about to be rushing this right now flixie is already in and he's going to grab that kill onto ssg jay is planting right now where is the gold player to stop them from above jay is able to get the plants off and just hop out flixie grabs another kill Solus able to refrag though. Juice getting one as well. Bring things to a 3v2. The gold is above. Spots out where the bomb has been planted. But he can't find the other two players. Candelas are coming out from Rick C. As Atlas is on the bus. Denying anybody from planting from above. 20 seconds left. Blue team's running out of time. Juice goes for the defuse. Atlas can't see him. The nades come out. It's going to blow up the smoke. Plant goes down. The gold grabs a kill. Someone's got to get on the diffuser right now. Atlas with another nade. That's going to take him out. No time to diffuse. Atlas clutching up, taking out the gold. Unbelievable round from Atlas. Taking a look at the leaderboard. The gold is top fragging for the blue team. Jay is top fragging for the orange team. Both players tied at five kills. Here we go with round number six. It looks like the orange team's gonna be trying to do another quick plant on the teller's window. The gold player inside of bathroom. He's gonna see the feet from Flixie run by, but won't be able to do any damage. Troll Patrol is going to get taken out by a nade. He's currently down. And the blue team is going to need to get him up. The C4 misses from the gold player. A hacked Maestro Cam is going to take Capkin to about half of his HP as he reses up Troll Patrol, but another nade comes in, takes SSG to about 1 HP. Daze goes down as he gets a kill. The gold player now inside of Lobby, trying to figure out where Flixie is. He's going to be inside of Workshop right now, but the gold player wins the gunfight. Very nice shot, and now a minute and 50 seconds left. The orange team is falling apart. Only three players remaining. Atlas is one of them, and he's going to be pushing in through vents. Rixie is going to grab a kill on that Ying from above. Troll Patrol goes down. Atlas going to grab another kill, but oh, great shot. The gold will refrag. Rixie going to be opening up that main hatch to site now as Jay is above an armory. He's going to open up that hatch, trying to find the angle onto the gold. And now Rixie Candelian down. SSG is... Not on site. The site is completely free for the attackers. Jay is going to be droning out above, trying to figure out where the gold player is. He's going to spot him out and most likely go for the drop here. Is he's going to be trying to push into workshop, but the gold able to get that kill. He needs a clutch and he will. Let's go for the game. The gold player carrying his entire team more than double the kills of second place. Great game from the gold. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.